Hey everybody, it is time for us to continue with our box car children story. Um, I am sorry that I haven't been doing it the last few days. I've been trying to learn how to do Zoom. So if I have not done a Zoom class with you, please get in touch with me, I want to. Um, so we can do some reading together. But I wanna continue on. I know Kinsley has been listening. Um, I'm ex super excited about that. So um, if you are listening, let me know. So um, we are on chapter three today. So let's think about the questions that we had from chapter two, okay? And I'm gonna answer them because hopefully in your mind, you went through it and figured it out, or maybe even wrote it down. Okay, so um, what was the setting um, for this second chapter? Okay, the first chapter was at a bakery and our setting changed for chapter two. It was nearer a farmhouse. Uh, they stayed in a haystack, um, so that it's outside. Uh huh. And um, I ask you, how did the older children convince Benny, who's only five, to do things that he didn't want to do? Sometimes when you're dealing with younger children, you have to be creative, and they were very creative. He didn't want to walk, so they convinced him to act like a bear, and he liked little bears so he wanted to do that he didn't want to drink from the water without a cup and so they told him to act like he was a horse and so they were able to convince Benny to do things that he didn't want to do so I ask you when did they walk and when did they sleep if we were to go somewhere we probably would walk during the day and sleep at night but they are doing the opposite so that no one can catch them they are sleeping during the day and they are walking at night so why did they go to Silver City instead of Greenfield? Well, hopefully you heard in our story that they heard the baker and his wife looking for them, and they discussed that they were going to look at Greenfield for them, but they would not go to Silver City. And if they didn't find them in Greenfield, they would go back home. And so that was one of our problems and solutions from that chapter. It was a problem of the baker and his wife looking for them. And they listened and they came up with a solution that would keep them out of danger. Okay, so today we are going to read chapter three. And our story, um, the, ch the chapter three is called A New Home in the Woods. So it sounds like they're gonna come up with something in the woods. So let's see what happens with our four friends. Okay. Now remember at the ending of the chapter two, um, there was lightning and thunder, but they fell asleep because they were super tired. At last, Jessie opened her eyes. It was morning, but the sun was covered by clouds. She sat up and looked all around her, and then she looked at the sky. It seemed like night, for it was very dark. Suddenly, it began to thunder and she saw that it was really going to rain. What shall we do? Where shall we go? Thought Jessie. The wind was blowing more and more clouds across the sky and the lightning was very near. She walked a little way into the woods looking for a place to go out of the rain. Where shall we, where shall we go? She thought again. Then she saw something ahead of her in the woods. It was an old box car. Now, that is probably a word that you are not familiar with. And as I read the story, I'm hoping you're going to figure out what a boxcar is, and I'm going to ask you about that. What a good house that will be in the rain, she thought. She ran over to the boxcar. There was no engine, and the track was old and rusty. I'm giving you some clues. There's no engine, and the track was old and rusty. It was covered with grass and bushes because it had not been used for a long time. It is a boxcar, Jessie said. We can get into it and stay until it stops raining. She ran back as fast as she could to the other children. The sky was black and the wind was blowing very hard. Hurry, hurry, cried Jessie. I have found a good place. Hurry as fast as you can. Henry took Benny's hand, and they all ran through the woods after Jessie. It's beginning to rain, cried Henry. We'll soon be there, Jessie shouted back. It's not far. When we get there, you must help me open the door. It is heavy. The stump of a big tree stood under the door of the boxcar. The boxcar has a door. And was just right for a step. 
Jesse and Henry jumped up on the old dead stump and rolled back the heavy door of the car. Henry looked in. There's nothing in here, he said. Come, Benny, we'll help you get up. Benny, Violet went in next, and last of all, Jesse and Henry climbed in. They were just in time. How the wind did blow. They rolled the door shut, and then it really began to rain. Oh, how it did rain. It just rained and rained. The children could hear it on the top of the boxcar, but no rain came in. What a great place this is, said Violet. It is just like a worn little house with one room. After a while, the rain and the lightning and the thunder stopped, and the wind did not blow so hard. Then Henry opened the door and looked out. All the children looked out into the woods. The sun was shining, but some water still fell from the trees. In front of the boxcar, a pretty little brook ran over the rocks with a waterfall in it. What a beautiful place, said Violet. Henry, cried Jessie, let's live here. Live here, asked Henry. Yes, why not, said Jessie. This boxcar is a fine little house. It is dry and warm in the rain. We could wash in the brook, said Violet. Please, Henry, begged Jessie. We could have the nicest little home here, and we could find some dishes and make four beds and a table and maybe chairs. My husband is doing something outside. Hopefully you can hear me. No, said Benny. I don't want to live here, Jessie. Oh, dear. Why not, Benny? asked Jessie. I'm afraid the engine will come and take us away, answered Benny. Henry and Jessie laughed. Oh, no, Benny, said Henry. The engine will never take this car away. It's an old, old car, and grass and bushes are growing all over the track. Then doesn't the engine use this track anymore? asked Benny. No, indeed, said Henry. He was beginning to want to live in the boxcar, too. We'll stay here today anyway. Then can I have my dinner here, asked Benny. Benny's always hungry. Yes, you shall have dinner now, said Henry. So Jessie took out the last loaf of bread and cut it into four pieces. But it was very dry. Benny ate the bread, but soon he began to cry. I want some milk too, Jessie, he begged. He ought to have milk, said Henry. I'll go to the next town and get some. But Henry did not want to start. He looked to see how much money he had. And then he stood thinking. At last, he said, I don't want to leave you girls alone. Oh, said Jessie, we'll be all right. Henry, we'll have a surprise for you when you come back. You just wait and see. Goodbye, Henry, said Benny. So Henry walked off through the woods. When he had gone, Jessie said, Now, children, what do you think we're going to do? What do you think I saw over in the woods? I saw some blueberries. Oh, oh, cried Benny, I know what blueberries are. Can we have blueberries and milk, Jessie? Yes, Jessie was beginning, but she suddenly stopped, for she heard a noise. Crack, crack, crack. Something was in the woods. Mm, kind of left us on a cliffhanger there at the end of that chapter. Okay, so a few questions for you to answer before chapter four. Okay, what is the setting for this chapter, is it the same or has it changed? Has it, have our characters changed any? I forgot to ask you that for last chapter. What about a problem or a solution in this chapter? Or overall, kind of what is our plot for this story? What is going on? What do we see going on in this story overall? And what do you think is gonna happen next? Henry's gone. Where's Henry gone? He's gone, and everyone else gone, but what happened right there at the end, and what do you think is going to happen next? And then, if you have a chance, I want you to think about what is a boxcar, and if you can, draw a picture of what you think their little boxcar house looks like. And if you want to send it to me, you can. Okay, thank you so much. I will see you later for Chapter 4.